What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. I appreciate y'all for checking with me. Man, I got a uh, great topic for the people, man. I hope everybody having a good evening out there, man. Uh, I know it's a holiday week, but listen, I, w- I got something I want to bring to the people. Um, I want to tell you why I feel, in my humble opinion, and tell me if I'm wrong here. You know, let's, let, let's politic this out here. It's Flight Sports TV. I already know what it is. Um, I'm, I'm proposing an idea that LaMelo Ball is today's, if you want to say the modern day, Allen Iverson. I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, seriously, this guy, LaMelo Ball is definitely of that out. I'm telling you, this guy, Melo is the truth. I just want to let, let the people know, don't ever get it twisted or confused here at Flight Sports TV. We watching Melo. You understand this is one of the most craziest situations in in NBA history. Literally, you know, we watching two games at once. I know it's a struggle. Shout out to the people. Hit that like button if y'all know the struggle. When you got two TVs juggling at once, you got the TV running the phone, maybe the tablet. You understand it's it's crazy. It's a full-time job trying to keep up with the Bulls and the Hornets and Jell-O. It makes no sense. And then now they both in the East. It's like the games are running into each other. But well, that's neither here nor there. But I just want to tell the people this. Mello is the new Iverson. I'm telling you, he's, he's today's Iverson. So before I get into it, I need everybody to hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports. Shout out to all the people. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with the channel. You already know you support the channel. The channel supports you back. Shout out to all the people. Shout out to all the content creators on the grind. You already know what it is. So um, let's talk. Listen, Iverson electrifying you understand coming into this league i don't know we got a lot of young boys you know i don't know if people know about iverson maybe you need to talk to some people that's in the um late 20s you know who could talk to you about the impact iverson had when he came in the league all the kids wanted to be ai i'm telling you iverson was dealing with the rap star iverson was a rock star you understand the nba had to change the dress code because Iverson was finessing and taking over. He was he was completely taking over the NBA. You understand? Just wreaking havoc in a good way. You know, because he performed on the court. He wasn't getting to the no trouble. He just was a charismatic, swaggerific figure. You understand? And now you look at today. I'm looking at a resemblance. LaMelo Ball, I'm trying to tell you, this man right here is just oozing swag. You understand? His confidence is on 150,000. You understand? I'm talking chains, icy. It just reminds me of AI. I'm talking about pulling up in the whips. I mean, it's just the way the way Melo is doing it is just filthy. You understand? This shit gonna go down in history the way Melo is doing it. You understand? Because he doing it with swag. There's a lot of people out here that's busting people's ass, balling, they nice, they nasty. But dudes ain't got no swag. Melo doing it with swagger. You understand? I'm talking, like I said, he doing it with chains on, smiling. You understand? It? Getting crazy. They know he ain't soft. You can't punk him. You understand? The dude is out on the court performing. You understand? Could back it up. You understand? Similar to AI, a young lion. You understand? Um, so if you want to talk about the similarities, they're very similar. You're talking about both of them winning Rookie of the Year, two Rookie of the Year award winners. You understand? Iverson averaged 23 points in his rookie year. I mean, good God. You know, his his team was definitely a little more thin than the situation Melo walked into because the Hornets had talent. They just needed a point guard to cult- cultivate the situation. You understand? They was dealing with a lot. The Kemba situation, they got Rogier in. Rogier was just a band-aid on the situation, but they, they needed something solidified. Graham wasn't that guy, you know, so they found that in Melo. You know, AI, like I said, going to the, like both of them winning rookie the year. Melo going in with 15 points, but just just wreaking havoc on the offense, coming off the bench and doing what he was doing. You know, could you imagine if he just came off the rip start? And I think that's something that we, we all can wonder, you know, for years to come. But you talk about Iverson just going to the All-Star game. Like, I mean, seriously, the man was going to the All-Star game like it wasn't nothing. A, I mean, the way Melo was playing right now, it would be it would be a cold ransom 
if he's not the starting Eastern Conference starter for the rookie uh, for the All Star game. There is no point guard in the Eastern Conference that should be starting ahead of Lamelo Ball in, in the uh, NBA uh, All Star game. If there is, it needs to be an all out outrage. You understand? And like I said, it's just point blank period. We just got to call a spade a spade, ladies and gentlemen. You understand? So um, I expect Melo to walk to the All-Star game like year after year after year after year. You understand this that, that, that kind of situation. You know, Iverson, <clears throat> pardon me, made it to the NBA Finals. I do see Finals um, birth in LaMelo Ball. The man is a championship player, you can tell. You know, I just think you get the pieces, you know, things of that nature. Iverson was just an all-out just blitz and scoring type of machine. You understand? Um, does LaMelo Ball have that capability to just go on an all-out, just scoring, just one-man show every single night? I don't think that's Melo's game. So I do feel like he can get to the finals. Like I said, you put a team around him and put him in that situation, he'll cash in. Iverson was more just a one-man show. We, you know, we all know that. Uh, Iverson wasn't a facilitator. You know, uh, obviously the handle, uh, Iverson handle was just, you know, just crazy. You know, kids grew up trying to dribble the basketball like AI, you know, and just the marketability situation. AI was very profitable, marketable for the NBA. He'd moved the NBA forward. You know, I see LaMelo Ball, very marketable, profitable, and able to move the NBA forward, um, being used in commercials. You know, um, doing movies, uh, also like Marvel movies. He was in commercials with his brothers, you know. Uh, so the, I, I just see a similar situation. And I, I'm telling people, the resemblance between LaMelo and Iverson is, is clear. You understand? Is I just think that he is the modern day Iverson. Kids are going to want to grow up to be like him. Mind you, Melo got a shoe coming out, the MB1. I close it in this. The MB1 is on his way out, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if people remember when AI dropped his shoe. The answer, I'm trying to tell you, he had Jada Kiss in the commercial for it. I mean, it was just a hip hop and just a spectacle when Iverson dropped his sneakers. I'm just trying to tell you, you know, I'm seeing another wave of the situation with Melo. You understand? Iverson's sneakers sold just, it was retarded. You understand? What the hell you think is about to happen with LaMelo Ball? You understand? I want you to go to the NBA website right now and go try to buy a LaMelo Ball jersey. I'm going to give you about, I'll give you five, I'll give you a few minutes. I guarantee you, you won't buy one. Do you? There's no way in hell you can find a LaMelo Ball jersey. What the hell is going to happen with the sneakers? You understand? So the situation is crazy. We dealing with modern day rock stars able to perform on the basketball court at the highest level on the grandest stages of them all. You understand not shying away from nothing, pulling up in Lambos, chains, icy. You understand coming up, dropping triple doubles, putting up 40 some, putting up 30 plus. You understand talking crazy to the veterans, letting them know, yeah, I'm coming. I'm here. You understand? So it, it, it's crazy. Give credit to Melo. Give credit to the Hornets. Iverson completely revitalized the Philadelphia 76ers when he got there. They're still talking about the culture Iverson brought when he was there, that warrior spirit. LaMelo Ball completely coming to Charlotte, revitalizing the organization. Michael Jordan is making his presence felt again. Melo done got Jordan comfortable to poke his head out the window. When you seen Jordan is visible, I'll wait. That credit that the Melo, see, Melo don't get enough credit. Melo has completely revitalized the Charlotte Hornets, ladies and gentlemen. Made them a prestige organization, a feared organization. When Charlotte is on the schedule, you got to lace your boots up. It ain't no cakewalk no more when Charlotte is on the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. And that's because LaMelo Ball is there. He demands excellence from his teammates. He, he proves it on the basketball floor. Very similar to Allen Iverson.
It's Flight Sports TV. We're going to leave it at that. I need everybody to hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. Y'all already know what it is. LaMelo Ball is today's Allen Iverson. It's very clear. It's very evident. Let me know your thoughts. We're getting up out of here. It's Flight Sports.